What's going on guys, the Inhuman Pizza, and I'm back with more Fate Grand Order. You know what time it is. It's now time for Lost Belt 4. Dun 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 dun. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited for this. However, however, there's one thing of note here. So, uh, now nah, all those can wait. Basically, uh, side note before we start Lost Belt 4. Uh, Krim has advised me that I should play Arjuna's second interlude before we get into Lost Belt 4 for reasons that will thematically make sense as we get into the Lost Belt. I can probably guess why based upon what I know about Arjuna and what little I know about the Lost Belt King. So... That said and done, uh, let's get into that. So, let's servant records. He shouldn't be too high up here. Secret Manu, Arash, Arjuna, there he is. Yeah. All right, so. Also, fun thing to note, uh, Krim will be once, been, once again doing the battles for the Lost Belt. Uh, which we'll get more into when we actually start the Lost Belt. Uh, but when he was going to go test out recording and do stuff for that, he actually discovered that he still had some leftover recordings from interludes he had done, I think maybe back when he still had my account. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but regardless, because of that, you actually get to see battles for this interlude. So let's begin by continuing to question. There you are, Karna. Oh no, I think that was Karna's voice. Arjuna. No obstacles remain for me. Even if they did, I would destroy them all. This will be the end. I may be called a coward, but I will kill you. I need to kill you. You know me, after all. So this is Karma. There is not room enough in the world for two supreme marksmen. My land should be alone in its ability to scorch the land. Poetic considering you never used your lance, but okay. There's no question of who dies here. The loser will become unnecessary. Come at me, Arshina. Lay it all on the line. Give it everything you have. Don't speak down to me. You asked for it! Brilliant. I'm gonna assume maybe this is a flashback to at least Fate's interpretation of how their battle in the is it the Mahabharata or whatever the fuck it's called? Um, how their battle went down? I don't actually know. Yeah, I've never read it, but I know some tidbits here and there. <laughs> I win. My, my, my. Is this truly victory? Or is this actually defeat? I have no sense of satisfaction, no joy from this victory. I don't even feel a sense of relief that the battle is over. The only thing that I have is this ceaseless feeling of emptiness. I just killed the man who knew me best. I have no regrets. My original sworn enemy, my oldest enemy, we were destined to fight each other, and yet... Which is poetic because... You know, in hindsight, in the actual story, from what I know, like, neither of them were kind of good people. I think Arjuna had the... Arjuna is viewed as the hero in the story, by technicality. Because Karna goes out of his way to do a lot of shady shit that's basically like, I will teach you how to do this, but you cannot use it to, dis to fight Arjuna. 
deal. Immediately does that. <laughs> and I don't know, Arjuna could have done some shit like that, but I think for the most part he's treated as the hero, whereas Karna's whole thing is, I have to kill him to prove I'm better than him, to prove that I am, like, a, a, a son of this person, I think, was a lot of his motivation. So in that sense, I guess, Karna's was more petty, I suppose? That man who waded through battle after battle in blinding golden armor was the one and only hero who knew this ugly, knew the ugly side of me. Why, Karna? Why? I don't really have a voice for Arjuna, it's really difficult. Why? Why did you smile? And then my life came to an end while I yet pondered that mystery. As Arjuna, the hero of the endowed, I existed to protect the future. And then I was summoned as a servant and participated in many battles. I trust Master wholeheartedly. He may be ordinary, and there are times when he is too optimistic, yet still he's a good master. Faithful, accurate decision-making skills, and he does not treat us servants as mere familiars. He treats us with respect, but is not, disti is not distant. Many servants would consider him the ideal master. I number myself among them. That is why I unleash the absolute limit of my noble phantasm's power. And yet... I have yet to show my true face to Master. No. I mustn't show it. Oh yeah, this is also a weird case of... Arjuna's first interlude doesn't unlock his sixth bond. His second one does. My blunt ugliness out in the open. Master, I have to... Right, I stopped doing that. Master, I've detected numerous enemies. It seems like a surprise attack. Comfortable battles. A sense of fulfillment I feel knowing that I am fighting in the cause of absolute justice. The most wonderful cause of saving the world. Ah, uh, I cannot stop laughing. Uh, Arjuna, you alright? No, it's nothing. Now, let's go annihilate the enemy. むなしい戦いだ。そちらに駅はないぞ。それでは、どう？でもこちら。満足させておくれよ。いいじゃないか。高くてきな。うん。よろしい。誘爆機動。
これより地獄を開始するハリドコロッテねヒゲキをもって主情を救わシバのご公義王界と共に押し寄せパシパタはじけて落ちよ。おしまいかいうんじゃあ一切合切いただくよエンミーレスポンスゼロ No problems on our end. I recommend returning. Nice to work! Yes, Master. Good work to you as well. I will have sesame buns ready for you. Okay. By the way, Master, was there something on my face a few minutes ago? Nothing. I didn't look myself. At least on my end, I did not see any fluctuation in his spirit origin value. Perhaps it's fatigue? Arjuna, you've been volunteering for battle rather frequently recently. Is that how this works? People just volunteer. <laughs> People just volunteer? No wonder Gilgamesh. No wonder these take forever. Gilgamesh never helps. And the other servants, especially the battle hungry ones, have been complaining that it's not fair. I may have overexerted myself. Understood. I will be sure to leave the battles to the other servants for a while. Okay, good work again. S Aha, Senpai. I win this round of cards. I'll be taking this sesame bun as my prize. Look yourself out. <laughs> don't, don't sulk, Senpai. I have one for you, too. What was the point of this? Sweet dreams, Senpai. Naito. Yes, good night. That was relevant. Maybe that sesame bun before bed had something to do with this. I didn't bother picking it because I don't I don't know a lot of Japanese like sayings or idioms or things like that. So maybe they had something to do with it. I defeated him. He's defeated. <laughs> I win. My. 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 Arjuna? Master. You. Saw my face. Didn't you? Man, can we talk about how this wind sound is so fucking loud? That it's actively, like, covering up the music. You're finally awake, Master. I am surprised. You do not seem at all bewildered by the unexpected scene you just witnessed. It seems that we have fallen into a servant's dream. It's likely that it's my dream, or that of someone who has some connection with me. If it's mine, then I apologize in advance. I'm used to this, it happens a lot, somehow. Spoken like a true master. But getting too used to this is hardly a good thing. God, you're fucking telling me. Maybe the writer should come up with a better fucking trope. You may one day be a prisoner of a different type of nightmare. Should you die inside a dream, your spirit will perish. Thanks, Freddy Krueger. You wanna keep on going with this? Anyway, we can do little if we remain in this darkness. We must analyze our surroundings. Master, do not move. If we lose sight of each other, it will be difficult for us to find one another again. It's subtle, but I sense a breeze. Let's head in that direction. This place is like a labyrinth, and it's quite elaborate. Not only that, no. One moment. This is not right. I do not understand. Uh, sup? My only sense of this is, I admit, 
intuitive, but this labyrinth does not lead any higher than we are now. And the only path leads lower, to the bottom. This seems about right for a dungeon and a nightmare. Honestly, my apologies, this is most likely my own nightmare. Were this your nightmare, it wouldn't have been a mali it wouldn't have been as malicious as it is now. I like both of these because they're hilarious, but I'm gonna go with uh I've had I as someone who's played Triple C, I've actually sat at Elizabeth's Last Supper. <laughs> is this Ellie, the Mixed Dragon Servant, or the Mixed Dragon Servant. <laughs> A concert festival certainly sounds interesting. A nightmare. Isn't it just music? What? I don't get the underlying issue. Count yourself blessed. Anyway, let's begin our descent. I have a feeling that this is our best option. It is annoying, though, to have so many creatures scuttling about. No, it shouldn't be an issue. We should have no trouble breaking through. Now then, let us cut them down. いいだろう。行くか。月輪の剣、鬼滅の矢。
のジャークおおいいだろう悲劇をもって主情を救わん芝のご公義を大と共に押し寄せるパーシュパタはじけて落ちよ天空の神々よ我が勝利を捧げよう Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.